Bill came up with the idea of one day, I was here, and I was finishing out this documentary on Sam Cooke for American Masters, PBS American Masters, called Crossing Over. And we were wrapping that up with a buddy of mine named John Antonelli, who was director. Who was director. And we're at the just bare tail end of that stuff. And Bill called me one day. I was sitting, sitting out here talking, talking to some friends of mine and said, hey, how about working together on a documentary on Dark Skin Sisters? And that's all he said. And I'm like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. because I immediately could attach myself emotionally to that since Bill and I happened to be dark-skinned men who happened to grow up to be you know, little dark-skinned little boys, Bill growing up in Poughkeepsie and me growing up in East Orange, New Jersey, um, were ridiculed and, and, and talked about and, you know, and all that kind of stuff that kids do to one another because I was too dark. Mm -hmm. uh, as a little boy, which had a profound effect on me, uh, a negative effect on me, um, where my self-esteem was, was was low, quite low. I never thought that I was cool enough, light enough, cute enough, handsome enough to have anything or to be worth anything, which put me into a further shell that I was already in because I was always a little quiet kid who kind of just didn't do what everybody else did because I was over here drawing, painting, playing the music but my best friend Eric. So I was kind of the, the odd man out and then then to be ridiculed at that age because I was dark and all that sort of thing and, and maybe maybe even not attracted to, to, to men, women girls at the time. I don't believe that. Well, trust me, I, I, <laughs> you're kind. But um, that's what I went through. So when Bill brought it up to me, I could emotionally connect to that and um, understand the pain that went with that. And I had, it had to be 10 times or 50 times much for women, mm -hmm. I thought about. Because Dark-skinned women still go through it today. Here right. we are, 2012 to 2013, and dark-skinned women are still having a problem. And um, so I'm like, okay, Bill, I can do this with you. And we just, we just hit it. We just hit it.